Holly, hello, I'm Refashionista Sherry, and today I am transforming this thrifted vintage maxi dress into two fantastic items that are much more my taste and style. For this quick and easy two-for-one project, all you need is your crazy long maxi dress, a dress that has your ideal length to use as a template, and your sewing gear. Okay, so the very first thing I'm going to do is remove this little ruffly lace that is on the chest, and it's going to be super duper easy. You can see here it was just hand stitched on, so all I have to do is find the end and really carefully pull that out, and you can look at that. It's just pulling right off super duper easy. I don't even need my seam ripper. I can just gently pull the thread with my fingers, and then it will be off. Now, I know when I shared this with you guys <laughs> when my thrift score video, some of you said, oh, please don't remove this, this lace, but I really don't like it, and I'm the one who's going to be wearing this, so... <laughs> So I'm going to make it to my taste and style, which is something that you should always do when you are refashioning for yourself. Please, please, please do not let people tell you how to dress. Dress in whatever makes you feel good when you are lounging around the house or going outside. It's all up to you. You make your own unique style. Okay, I think that looks so much better with that distracting lace gone from the chest area. Now let's shorten this to our ideal length. And for that, you need your template dress that has your ideal length. And this is actually a vintage bridesmaids dress that I refashioned. And I shall link that down below for you because it is one of my absolutely favorite things to wear. And um, yeah, so all you got to do is line up the shoulder seams and the underarm seams if you can it's the shoulder seams that is most important though and then mark the bottom of your template dress onto your too long dress with a pin don't forget to add a couple centimeters of seam allowance and then simply chop on through Okay, so I have my dress cut to size plus a couple of centimeters for seam allowance. Now, something that I always like to do when I am hemming up the bottom of a dress with a lining is to first hem up the exterior fabric because then that way I know exactly how much shorter I have to hem up the lining in order for it to be hidden behind the exterior hemline seam. I am so pleased with my hemming job here. The stitches might not be super duper straight, but you know what? It lines up exactly as I wanted it to. The exterior fabric, the lining fabric, totally perfect. Now let's move on to the next tutorial. So now I have the chopped bottom left over. And first I thought, oh, I'll just stitch these together at an elastic waist and I'll have a cute little lace skirt. But then I thought, no, nah, I don't really wear skirts and I don't want to do that. So I looked in my stash and I found this fully lace kind of sweatshirt and I thought, hey, I can stitch this to the bottom of this and make a lace sheer dress that I can wear my funky vintage slips under. So that is an option. But then when I brought it over here to the table to start filming, I discovered these trousers that have very weird bottoms on them. And I thought, hey, I wonder if I could make these into some funky kind of sheer bell bottoms by adding this lace to the bottom of the trousers. And um, I think that is what we're going to do because it's going to look cool and these colors look awesome together. So let's get started. So as you can see, I have my lace piece inside out and I have folded it in half as evenly as possible. This is not a wonderful folding fabric. So it's as even as I can get it. And then I'm just going to cut it along the fold here. So I have two equal-ish pieces. 
Okay, so I now have two pieces and each piece has an open edge, which I just cut, as well as the enclosed edge. And now I'm just going to go stitch each of those open edges together to create two tubes. Okay, so now I have my two bell-shaped tubes and just thinking about it, these would actually make really good sleeves. But um, yeah, forget about it. Forget, I, I have far too many bell sleeves as it is. And uh, yeah, if you want to know how to make bell sleeves, I shall link down below to my DIY sleeves um, playlist because there's a whole bunch of different versions over there. I just love a good bell sleeve. Anyway, on to the bell trousers though. <laughs> okay, so you can see I have lined up the kind of finished off edges as evenly as possible. Again, this is not an easy task to get everything, <laughs> everything as lined up as I can. So I'm just going to give it a shake and then smooth it all. And up here at the top, it is totally not even at all. So I'm just going to do a gentle curving cut across the top to even them up so they are pretty much going to be the same length. Okay, so I have my trousers inside out and I have folded them in half and laid them flat with the legs as evenly lined up as possible. So now I have one of my lovely lacy bells and because these trousers are a little bit too short, I'm going to take the hem of the lace here and just extend it a little bit beyond the length of the hem of the trousers. And let's pull this here. Now I'm going to chop my trousers to the right length. And these are almost done, which is great. <laughs> so now I have one of my bell tubes and I'm just going to pop it over top of one of my trouser legs with the right sides facing and the chopped edge of the trousers lined up with the chopped edge of the lace bell. Okay, now comes the fun part and you just kind of got to do a bunch of pin tucks if this is what you want to do, to line up the fabrics and make them all even together. And as you know, I love doing pin tucks because it's just really, really easy <laughs> and relatively quick. And I really like the result. If you want a more in-depth tutorial for how to do pin tucks, I shall link it down below for you. But now I'm just going to continue doing my pin tucks all the way around until the fabric is all even. And uh, yeah, then I'm going to stitch it together and then we will check out how it comes out. Okay, both sides are stitched on and I am very excited to flip them. Let's have a look. Oh, that looks so cool. Oh, that is just perfect. Let's go try everything on and style it all up now. I am overjoyed with my fantastic, shortened, gorgeous, double, double bell sleeve dress. I can't, again, another one that came out so beautifully and it really wasn't that difficult. The lace was a bit picky to sew and of course the lining was like 100% super slippery, very, very vintage polyester, so that was a bit of a challenge, but it came out so perfectly. It you can see, <laughs> fits me like a glove. It is absolutely stunning. But even better than this dress are my absolutely fantastic bell bottoms. I think I just created my favorite pair of trousers and I will definitely be making more because how easy was that? And what a fantastic way to use the chopped bottoms from shortened dresses. Like, can you imagine how cool that would look on jeans with some really crazy, cool, patterned, chopped bottom of a dress? I just, it would be fantastic. And um, you know what, guys? I am absolutely exhausted because I have been under the weather for a little while. So pardon, there is no troll time this week because I just... I need my rest. I have to get back to bed, but I really wanted to make a tutorial for you this week. So 
I hope you enjoyed this quick and quirky a little two for one and do let me know down below if you are going to make one of these for yourself or I'm sorry each of these one of them two of them whichever I desperately desperately want to know <laughs> if my tutorials are actually being used or not or if it's just you know something I'm doing for myself to create my personal dream wardrobe I don't know anyway <laughs> until next time stay safe stay well and I'll catch ya on the zigzag. Love it, love it, love it. But I think I love the bell bottoms better. And um, I kind of, I think I have to figure out how to make uh, these double bell sleeves, right? Right? Maybe upcoming tutorial. Okay, catch you next time. <laughs> this is Confessions of a Refashionista.